sometimes the old-fashioned ways are still the best. The generations before us had endured hardships that we have not experienced. Two world wars, the Great Depression, and famine. With each hardship, they grew stronger and more resilient. They weren't trying to be frugal. They were simply living in a world where every penny mattered and every resource was cherished. It is through their wisdom that we benefit. These old-fashioned money-saving tips are enduring to me, reminding me of my childhood growing up in a large family on a rural farm. My grandparents and parents used these simple lifestyle habits to save money, many of which I still use today. The best part about these ways to save money is that these are simple habits that we can all incorporate into our daily lives. A frugal life is about embracing simplicity. Beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a great ship. It used to be considered a luxury to have a housekeeper, something that was only reserved for the very wealthy. Although it's more commonplace to have a housekeeper today, cleaning your own home can save thousands of dollars a year. It's a simple way to save a lot of money. In the past, nearly every family had a garden. Growing your own food not only saves money, but it also is very satisfying. I'm not able to have a garden right now since I'm traveling full time, but I miss the days of digging in my garden. There is something so gratifying about planting a seed, tending to plants while they grow, and reaping the harvest. Even if it's only a few planter containers on a patio, those tomatoes seem to taste better knowing that you grew them yourself. It was common to grow herbs in or near the home. If a garden is not accessible, try growing a few herbs in your kitchen. They take up little space and add a ton of flavor to any dish, either fresh or dried. Being the youngest of six children, most of my clothes were secondhand for my older siblings. Clothing a large family is expensive, so mending clothes was essential to extend the life of the clothes that we wore. Learning the skill has served me well while I raised my own family and continues to save me money. Entertainment can be expensive. Finding joy in simple pleasures is a gift. Playing a board game with my husband is a perfect way to pass a Sunday afternoon. Taking a walk in the mountains is not only one of my favorite pastimes, but it also helps keep me healthy. Growing up camping in the Rocky Mountains instilled in me an appreciation for nature while also teaching me basic survival skills like building a fire. Camping is the original old-fashioned free vacation.
baking from scratch was an essential skill that was passed down through the generations. My mother taught me the essential skill of baking from scratch just as her mother taught her. Something about baking is incredibly soothing and relaxing. It's easy to lose myself in the measuring, stirring, and rolling of the dough. Plus, is there anything better than freshly baked scones? Eating out used to be reserved for only very special occasions. Over the last few decades, eating out has become something most of us do on a regular basis. Cooking at home is one area where hundreds or thousands of dollars a month could be saved. Plus, the savings are instant. Cooking a meal doesn't need to be complicated or have expensive, hard-to-find ingredients. A simple meal of beef stew and biscuits is both cost-effective and satisfying. Let nothing go to waste was a saying I heard often growing up. I value and appreciate the food I have the time it took to prepare it, and the money it cost. Saving the leftovers is my way of expressing my gratitude for what I'm given. Seeing clothes drying on the line instantly takes me back to a simpler time, a time when life was not hurried allowing time for the sun and breeze to work their magic. Sometimes the way things have always been done is still the best way. There is wisdom to be learned from the generations that came before us. I gladly embrace the old-fashioned, simple living tips that help me save money and also remind me to slow down. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a beautiful day, my friends.